r slash r credit by Robertainment. Which conspiracy theory is so believable that it might be true? The Reddit search function is intentionally bad or not purposely bad, but they know how to fix it, but refuse to to encourage more new posts. Apple started the meme about AirPods being expensive as a marketing ploy. Happened around Christmas. You might be right. Peter is controlled opposition run by the meat industry designed to make animal rights activists look bad. They act so insane and overly petty at times I can almost believe this one. I can't believe my most upvoted comment is just a passive remark that basically restates the post. That the government made this post to see if we were onto them. The reason Disney came out with a movie called Frozen was so that when you google Disney Frozen you would get information about the movie and not websites talking about Walt Disney's body being frozen. Cops go on wars and leave random police sightings to cause people to slow without actually having to stay and check on people. Michael Jordan's first retirement was actually a suspension by the NBA because of his gambling. It was to avoid a suspension. Subtle difference. The real reason Apple removed the headphone jack was to try to remove Square Pay systems as a competitor for Apple Pay. Edit. First gold comment. Thanks guys. Well I'll be damned. Rob Gronkowski didn't actually injure his groin. After scoring his 69th career touchdown, he just thought it would be funny slash appropriate. MLB pitcher Brandon McCarthy retired with 69 wins and a 4.20 era. Truly living the dream. Snapchat worked with the FBI to popularize and secretly test and improve face recognition technology. We went from wow, this is like magic to this is totally normal in a few years, and there's no way that the technology isn't being by law enforcement. Have you read the terms and agreements of Snapchat? It's not that secret that most social media is selling your information including the one we are using right now. Lotteries are actually traps for time travelers. That would make a great slash r slash writing prompts. The development of the F-35 fighter jet is so over budget, so the military can fund other top secret projects without making a new line item on the budget. It's the only conspiracy theory I believe. $10,000 for a hammer. DB Cooper, the gentleman that disappeared with 200k after jumping out of a Boeing 727 that he had hijacked, took the money and created www.mb.com. There were no further notable Cooper imitators until July 11, 1980, when Glenn K. Tripp seized Northwest Flight 608 at Seattle Tacoma Airport, demanding $600,000 $100,000 buy an independent account, two parachutes, and the assassination of his boss. However, a quick-thinking flight attendant had secretly drugged Tripp's alcoholic beverage with Valium. After a 10-hour standoff, during which Tripp reduced his demands to three cheeseburgers and a head start on getting away, he was apprehended. This could be a movie. That the CIA posts this question every time, so they know what the general public suspect. Here's an actual list of proven conspiracies. www.redit.com link. One of my favorites is that the government was behind hashtag throwback Thursday in order to get us to digitize and upload pictures that they would not have had access to in order to improve age progression slash facial recognition algorithms. I don't know about TBT, but the 10 year challenge provided anyone who wanted to grab it a massive amount of training material for a face recognition AI. YouTube in a mobile browser is so shitty, so they can force you to use the app and not use an ad blocker. This is true for most mobile sites, this one included. Not only do they want to run their ads, they want the data that an app can get compared to a website. Multiple football World Cups have been influenced either by governments hosting them, or other entities out for their own gain. Point two zero zero to South Korea slash Japan in 1978 and Argentina are the two most obvious ones that come to mind. It's well known that international sports, including soccer and the Olympics are huge septic pools of corruption. Long John Silvers is some kind of money laundering scheme on the basis that they have been open for as long as I can remember, but I have also literally never seen a busy Long John's. Toxic delusion that I ironically entertain? Perhaps. 
you clearly didn't grow up in a white trash family. LJS is a poor man's red lobster. We would eat fast food almost every night when I was growing up and maybe once a month get LJS. It was a treat. There is a LJS near my house that I have legit never been to or seen anyone go inside of or use the drive through It's been there for 10 plus years while other businesses like McDonald's and KFC have opened and closed locations within a block. The oil and coal industries invested heavily in killing off nuclear power as an attractive alternative. These days we have reactor designed many times safer than other methods of generating power, and the waste issue is something that could be fixed with sufficient investment. The government experiments on the mentally insane, because no one will believe someone with that kind of medical history. I feel like people overlook the fact that the government actually did experiments on Americans, and fucked at least one of them up so bad that he moved to the middle of the woods and started mailing bombs to people. Bob Vance was just trying to plug his business to the cameras every time he introduced himself. Kevin played dumb and was actually embezzling and slash or laundering money. The editor behind Paul Blart, Mall Cop 2 worked to make the film sync up perfectly with Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon, Yao 2 Point B Link, edit, audio is from Till Death to Us Blart, from the McElroy Brothers, check out all of their projects at Themselroy Point Family, www .themselroy Family link. Now the real conspiracy is that Pink Floyd discovered a universal rhythm that all human beings unknowingly create in which is why so many different pieces of media sync up with Tsotem hashtag stay woke. Edit. Guys I was joking. The president of the Philippines, Dutert, is very anti-drugs to hide his own involvements with drug cartels off which he makes billions. Funny enough, he once told supporters that, if his own children were found to be dealing in drugs, they should be executed. Not long after, one of his children was found to be involved with a big shipment of cocaine. I Ike. Still alive, I may be shaky on some of the details here, but I remember reading this on Dutat's Wikipedia page. I'm at work, we'll find the source later, if anyone is interested, edit. Thanks to everyone who has posted sources in the comments. I got some of the details wrong meth, not coke, etc, but the gist is accurate. Also, dude had had a past drug issue with fentanyl that nobody really knows if he's clean from and apparently smokes weed. Vaccines are flat, and the earth causes autism, edit, I forgot to say, 7 slash 11 was an outside job, edit 2. 7 slash 11 was not a part time job, sheeple, that's what they want you to think. Damn you're right, every single person to have autism is on earth. That's 100% success rate. Some organization slash group of people wanted all the Canada's dead for some reason, and hashtag X200B, edit, the term conspiracy theory and its poor connotation was created by the US government specifically for skeptics of the official JFK assassination story just felt I should put that out there. The Laurel Canyon Conspiracy. Basically, if you look at the counterculture evolutionaries in the music industry in the 60s, most of them were the children of military intelligence people. So the theory is that the free love, lots of drugs movement they inspired, was done intentionally to distract the youth from a full scale revolution. The thought was, if the angry youth of the mid to late 60s were too high, and getting laid all the time they would stop caring as much about societal ills, and then basically sleepwalk through the 70s, which they did. I stumbled upon this, when I was reading up on Jim Morrison, and how his father was the one who called in the fake strike at the Gulf of Tonkin that kicked off the Vietnam War, and which was shown later, to have been a false flag. Turns out, a lot of his contemporaries were also children of highly placed military people with ties to intelligence. Strange that they all wound up in Laurel Canyon as part of the same movement. Amelia Earhart was taken prisoner by the Japanese. There's another theory, that she crashed on an island, and starved to death. A skeleton from around the right time period was found I think, and the flesh was eaten by coconut crabs. Really upsetting imagining a horde of giant monsters ripping her flesh off. Edit. A word. Edit 2. I didn't say the crabs ate her alive I'm saying they might have eaten her body after she died. Possibly from starvation slash exposure. The CIA was involved in selling crack to low income black neighborhoods to fund activities they couldn't get approved by congress. 
I mean, I'm pretty sure most people believe there was some involvement and it's just a matter of degree. But, I think they were nuts deep in directly smuggling and selling crack through intermediaries to black communities with full knowledge of the Justice Department and Executive Branch, and hashtag X200B, edit dudes, I just want to clarify the fact that the CIA was involved in some degree of drug smuggling is generally considered a well attested fact. The degree to which they were involved in the proliferation of crack, the motivations behind this, and the degree to which the president knew of, and condoned or even ordered all of this is a little more debatable. Gary Stephen Webb was at the center of this conspiracy, award-winning journalist, that started his career in Ohio and Kentucky, and contributed to the Pulitzer Prize-winning coverage of the Loma Prieta earthquake. San Jose Mercury News, Webb had produced outstanding investigative reporting of the crack cocaine epidemic. He was able to, far beyond reasonable doubt, connect many dots between the CIA, FBI, and drug smuggling. That research of thorium as a safer nuclear power source was suppressed in favor of uranium research due to uranium's ability to be weaponized, edit, on my lunch break, and see that this kinda blew up. A lot of good information in the comments. I'm not a physicist or an engineer, my field is environmental studies so safer, cleaner energy is important to me. That being said, I obviously have not researched this topic enough, it just seems to pop up in conspiracy topics often see YouTube. Looks like a good discussion. I'll have to read through it all after work. I could be simple economics, rather than active suppression. If you use uranium, we will pay for the enrichment technology. If you use thorium, you are on your own. The government spreads insane conspiracy theories, that conspiracy nutters will latch onto to distract from actual conspiracies. Like flooding the conspiracy market to devalue conspiracies. Edit, Dear Allah, I get it, Michael Scott, The Office, Stanley, Gossip Episode. Do you guys ever check to see if anyone else made that comment? The idea that genetics services like 23andMe may be selling records to the government and slash or insurance companies. There have been cases of criminals being caught with genetic information like this citation needed, so it's not much of a stretch that other agencies could acquire it as well. I'm pretty sure it says they sell it on the website, edit, my most upvoted comment is something I wasn't even sure about, lol. There is a pedophile ring in Hollywood slash government. This seems more like reality than a conspiracy theory. The value of expensive art is, just as a pseudo-currency for rich people, to subtly buy drugs or other illicit things. I have a few I love, point one, Kabayashi, and point Wikipedia point org link the competitive eater is really a fantastic up close sleight of hand artist, point two, where the forecast is buy stock in supermarket chains, and then over exaggerate winter storms, point three, weather control sh- can you talk more about the Kabayashi theory? To conspiracy theorists walk into a bar, you can't tell me that was just coincidence, man. Bigfoot is blurry in real life as is. It was never the camera at fault. Dyson purposefully made the cable shorter over time, just before announcing the cordless version. My DC01 has a 12 meter flex point my DC14 has a 6.5 meter flex. They purposefully made the flex shorter to be an inconvenience and make people want the cordless version. Memes about the NSA and other spy programs are encouraged by the very agencies spying on us to twist the idea into the absurd and to humanize their agents. Millie crazy streak was all a carefully planned marketing scheme to get her solidified as an A-list celebrity. I believe it was done to make Disney completely cut ties with her, and kill the image of Hannah Montana, it's worked too. Hannah Montana was quite possibly Disney's largest TV show ever, but I haven't seen anyone even mention it for over 4 years now, and despite Disney cashing in on old Ipe Saladin, Kim Possible, Lion King etc we have yet to even hear an unsubstantiated rumor regarding Hannah Montana. The recommended food pyramid is created by the FDA, but the FDA is funded by a lot of certain food industries, poultry, dairy, etc. They in turn, made the recommended nutrition based off of their funding by these companies, and not based on a well-balanced diet. I don't know about the newer version, but I'm pretty sure this was actually confirmed to be the case with the old version most people learned. That's why grains are on the bottom, below even vegetables. 
there's a conspiracy theory that Flight 93 was shot down by hastily scrambled jet fighters and slash or missiles, in the interest of public safety, and that the government made up the relatively wholesome the passengers decided to fight the hijackers and sacrifice themselves story to keep up morale. I don't know whether it happened or not, but I can entirely believe it might be true. In that situation, that honestly seems like a good move to make. In all likelihood the plane was going to smash into something, and kill even more, and the morale boost of the fabricated storyline would certainly sit better with the public. Lord is actually a middle-aged guy named Randy. The Phantom Cosmonaut Conspiracy, pretty much, the short story is, that Yuri Gagarin is not the first man to go to space, but the first one, to go and come back alive, it just seems like a USSR thing to do. It's also something easy enough to disprove. It's similar to Apollo landing theories. The US could readily track rocket launches from the USSR, we'd have jumped at the opportunity to call them out. Same for the USSR and Apollo. That your phone's microphone is constantly hot and it's listening for keywords to target advertising. Most glaring instance where this happened to me was, when I walked into a colleague's office. He had just gotten a standing desk, but one that goes on top of his existing desk, rather than a standalone pun, model. That's important to note. I said nice standing desk, when did you get that? Thanks, just today. He replied. That was literally all that was said about the desk. We talked about work related stuff, and as I walked out, and checked my phone, there was an ad on Facebook for that exact model of standing desk. I have never owned one, wanted one, or googled one before. Yet there it was on my feed. Tin foil hat be damned, they listen in. Israel is run by the Jews. The Vatican is run by Catholics. If you look at their fucking flag there is even a star of David. It's pretty well hidden. The FBI is using Amazon's Alexa to spy on people. They don't need to, you already have a phone in your pocket. I'd say that's less FBI and more NSA, if we are going conspiracy theories. The Vatican holds horrible dark secrets and many answers to existential questions. And that Area 51 is a publicity stunt by the government, to hide the real testing facility. I believe that Area 51 has some stuff, that they wouldn't want getting out, but I think it's all pretty normal and the general public wouldn't find too shocking. It's definitely hyped up though, to distract us from some other base where the real weird shit goes down. That's now Piercer is the sequel to Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Go on. All social media platforms are direct result of Patriot Act, and are used to keep tabs on everyone. Hence the billions of users. With algorithms to keep you addicted to the constant information and the dopamine inducing likes. Wouldn't that also include Reddit? Dun dun dun. The ballistic missile threat that was sent to Hawaiian cell phone saying, seek shelter this is not a drill, that was later deemed a mistake, was a real missile that was intercepted before impact. I could see this being real, but is there anything to back up the claim? That Russians are behind the anti-vac movement as a way to thin the herd immunity for the next generation of Americans. Nuclear war is old news. The next big threat will be biological. Full credit to you slash the next village for this one, the arms on Tyrannosaurus Rex skeletons are backwards. They ought to be rotated 180 degrees, what good are these stubby little arms for? We have found out relatively recently, that T-Rex have feathers. It is now an established fact, T-Rex wear not covered in scales but in feathers, like a bird. Take the arms on a T-Rex, and flip them around 180 degrees, now you have wings like a ostrich. Here is an illustration of an ostrich skeleton. See the small arms, wings. www.google.com link. Now look at a Tyrannosaurus. www.google.com link. We used to think of almost all dinosaurs as lizard-like. In fact the name means terrible lizard. Now we know that many different animals that we think of as dinosaurs are more bird-like than lizard-like. XKCD comic below illustrates this nicely. Skeptics.stackexchange.com link, Tyrannosaurus Rex had wings. Not big wings to fly with, but wings that were perhaps something like that of an ostrich, cassowary, or emu, although likely much smaller in proportion to their body. Ostriches use their wings in mating rituals, to make themselves appear larger, and to signal and communicate. 
Perhaps T-Rex youth is for some similar purpose. They did not have useless stubby little arms. JFK shot first. My conspiracy theory, Fassa book purposely attempts to ruin people's relationships, because the drama gets more views and more views sell more ads. Several years ago they introduced a feature, so that your comments on other pages would show up in your friends feeds. So if you're secretly an atheist, and you comment on some atheist page, it shows up in your devout southern baptist grandma Muriel's timeline, even though it's a conversation, that has nothing to do with her, and there's no reason for it to be. As a result, Fassa book outs you to your family, and grandma is typing away at all the evil satanists trying to corrupt her grandson. And if you comment on a public post, it's unavoidable. You used to be able to control who could see your comments even on public posts by other pages, but at the same time Facebook introduced their tattletale feature, they took that ability away. Now if they were to stumble across the same page they'd be able to see your comment, but after that change, Facebook started pointing everybody you know directly to it. Not to mention, the privacy settings are difficult to find, difficult to understand, and with each passing year gives you less and less control over who sees what, by forcibly combining everybody's social circles. Facebook is trying to generate conflict. They want to generate conflict, because the conflict happens on Facebook, which means people logging on to Facebook more often, and seeing more ads. They are essentially an internet tabloid, except instead of showcasing the personal drama of celebrities for clicks and sales, they are doing it to you instead. Ever notice how the vast majority of family drama, relationship fights, etc. these days happens on Facebook? That's by design. Facebook is literally destroying the social fabric to make a buck, consuming relationship stability, like it's an oil refinery consuming crude. Snoke was actually a youngling from Star Wars Episode Second that survived Anakin Slaughter. I point red point it link. I don't really have a hypothesis as to why they would do it, but there's absolutely no way you could look me dead in the eyes and tell me that the government threw Osama Bin Laden's corpse into the ocean without a tickle in the back of your mind about how ludicrously facetious that sounds. I'm not a conspiracy nut at all, and, like I said, I don't have a solid reason as to why, but as a thinking human being I just cannot bring myself to believe that. Wasn't it to avoid making his corpse a valuable item? Like stop people from digging it up, worshipping it, or whatever? You've just killed the leader of a very extreme group of religious fanatics. His body is gonna be a pretty hot commodity. Dump him in the ocean and you know, don't have to pay for storage and security, plus I doubt any of them are super qualified as divers. Donald Trump never truly set out to become the president of the United States. He just wanted more exposure for his brand. One of the biggest oops, now what do I do, moments in United States history. The government creates small disasters, so they can frighten people, and make them willingly give up their liberties in the name of safety. This qualifies to a certain extent, it's definitely true, that the government usually one party, but certainly at the benefit of both exploits disasters to reduce liberties. I'm thinking of Citizens United, Patriot Act, Glass-Steagall repeal, rollback of financial, environmental, and gun regulations, etc. Actual fabricated conspiracies are usually much more limited in scope, and tend to be found out about. Then again, we don't know about the conspiracies we haven't found out about so there's that. But it takes a lot of effort, planning, and follow up to create a successful conspiracy. However, most erosion of individual liberties are actually done in plain daylight, though complicated political maneuvers that the public is unaware about or uninterested in. That big bread paid toaster manufacturers to put in a setting that is too high so that people would burn their toast, meaning that they sell more bread. That Natachajad was murdered by the Catholic Church. www.redit.com link for exposing a pedophile ring. This is trending on r slash conspiracy and r slash out of the loop right now. Credit to you slash update for the summary. Natacha Jate, a model slash TV journalist, exposed a pedophile ring on Live Argentinian TV a few months ago. After following cases over the last few years, she had claimed that she would not commit suicide in April.
of 2018, while investigating these rings, but was found on February 23, 2019 to be dead from suicide. Another journalist she had accused of pedophilia on the airing, Louis Ventura, had uploaded an image of her dead body shortly after she killed herself on Twitter, and then promptly deleted it afterwards. To quote you slash happy cake day one, she supposedly died from a cocaine overdose heart failure slash stroke. She had said that, if she wound up dead, the people she had accused of rape she was on trial, and it was powerful people would be guilty I won't kill myself, I won't overdose, and drown in a bathtub, I won't shoot myself, or rocks are soft, until you go to touch them. There was a dude, that invented a car, that runs on water, he stated multiple times he would not die from natural causes and that, if he dies to investigate it. A year away from putting his cars into mass production he died. Before he died he said, that oil companies have threatened his life. I got this info from my dad a couple months ago, but look the dude up, search like water car, or whatever, edit, amazing responses. From what some people are saying it might be a little bit of a hyperbole to say water car, but still an amazing story. www.makinghydrogen.com link, Jaylino owns a car, that runs on water. That there are hundreds of companies, that operate tens of thousands of reddit accounts each. They have been auto rigging these accounts for years, use scripts to auto post and comment, and have humans that shift through all the accounts, to make various comments to maintain these accounts. These companies have the ability to control, and game their way to the front of reddit. Huge brands use them, special interest groups use them, political parties use them, it's not a conspiracy, it's a real thing. UFOs are just time travelers from the future just checking us out. They keep their distance so not to disrupt anything, and to cause a butterfly effect that may affect them. To add to this, the reason why we have fewer UFO sightings these days is, because everyone has smartphones and cameras in general are getting better, but it's not, because we're no longer mistaking random things for UFOs like we used to, it's because all UFOs are people traveling back in time, but since the invention of the internet, and how well documented things are now, there's a lot less history that future humans don't already understand. The CIA flooded ghettos with crack cocaine to both fund their Central American shadow wars and to hold back the civil rights movement. Getting two birds stoned at once. Hasn't this been basically confirmed by participants to certain degrees? Darth Jar Jar was totally intended to be a thing, but George Lucas chickened out after the backlash against Jar Jar slash TPM and the idea never went through. I'm not saying I would bet my life savings on this one. But it wouldn't surprise me in the slightest, if it was someday confirmed. The main evidence that makes me think this one is likely is the fact, that they actually animated him saying other characters lines that's not an acting mistake, that slipped through the cracks, that's a conscious design choice, that took time and effort to execute. Why would they do that, but then never once address it? Less likely but still believable to me is, that Tupac is still out there, and is coming back someday, or will be revealed to have been alive this whole time after his actual death in the future. Again, I'm definitely not putting money on this one, but if it ever happened I don't think it would faze me in the slightest. The evidence for this one is less solid, but 30 Rock did make a throwaway reference to it once, and they were right about Harvey Weinstein and Bill Cosby long before those stories came out, so I wouldn't be surprised if they were also right about this. For anyone who hasn't seen it, here you go. Watch Jar Jar's mouth, www.youtub.com link, were it not for the random insistence of hey let's bring Padden to town she might never have even met Anakin which would have dramatically changed the following events. I'm less sure where they were going with that second bit other than to generate some initial friction between her and Anakin. I don't see them where I live now, but what I was living previously, there were a ton of these have written signs advertising, that you call the number listed, and they'll pay you cash for your house. There were a few forecasts too, but probably 90% of them were something along the lines of we buy houses for cash with a number listed. No more context than that. They were all sloppily handwritten in black marker with the phone number being the biggest thing on the sign. I fully believe that they were posted to initiate since kind of secret meeting. They'd all pop up all at once just everywhere and then most would disappear a few weeks later and then pop up again a month or two after that. 
The signs were so ugly that you'd have to be a complete idiot to think they were legit so maybe they were just scamming and trying to Nigerian prince it. JFK accidentally shot by his own secret service agent who turned round when Lee Harvey Oswald fired. Doesn't exonerate Oswald, explains why there was a cover up, and fits the ballistic report way better. This might be in here already, but the push for $15 minimum wage was created and supported by the companies that would most negatively be affected. Fast food McDonald's shipping Amazon warehouse workers, etc. to drum up negative public perception of these workers as entitled. Why should they get $15 slash hours flipping burgers when I'm making $25? Slash hours doing insert considerably harder job and these jobs aren't for supporting a family. Then, when they inevitably ask for too much, as they were secretly supported to do, make the switch to automation in virtually all these jobs. Public perception will be behind the corporation standing up to the entitled losers, and make the transition easier on the company's annoying SAI, that take at least 2-3 to three years of true public use to perfect. No one will feel bad, and now those low-skilled workers will be out of a job with virtually no mobility. That The Rock and Wayne Johnson are the same person. Lol this was debunked years ago. Dwayne is clearly a boulder. NBA is rigged. Most professional sports are rigged. It's easier to do than most think. Includes the top brass and officiating. Based on my unsubstantiated premise that officiating is no better than chance. The President of the United States, Donald J. Trump, worked with the Russian government to influence the 2016 election, and is actively working as a Russian asset. Starbucks baristas are told to misspell customers' names, so that they post photos on social media of their Starbucks cup. Check out how this guy spelt Barry. Bory. Lol shaking my head. I've always believed that Taylor Swift took all her music off Spotify just so she could sell her 1989 album like crazy when it came out, not because she wanted to protest against Spotify robbing musicians of money like she claimed. Kennedy was killed by the CIA. I would never trust the CIA. Definitely not 60s CIA. Stevie Wonder is not blind. Chris Jenner plotted this whole Tristan Thompson and Jordan Wood scandal because the new season of Keeping Up with the Kardashian is airing soon. The devil may work, but Chris Jenner works harder. Space is full of vampires. That the world's 1% participate in a global human slash sex trafficking ring that isn't a shareable by any law enforcement and often results in the deaths of any who dare expose it. This also extends into a larger world of high profile crime that is hidden to the world. It is likely that celebrity suicides are often staged to cover up murders related to the secret world those with a history of mental health issues are especially easy to cover up. The murders of Honey and Barry Shaman come to mind when speaking of this theory. They were a billionaire couple from Toronto Canada who were murdered in their home which had been staged to look like a murder suicide. The police initially corroborated the story of a murder-suicide, until after the children of the victims gave a public statement saying the police were wrong, stating it was instead a double homicide. Using a private investigator they revealed evidence in the crime scene that made it clear it was a double homicide. This raised questions as to why the official police statement said it was a murder-suicide. For example, both victims were found bound and a belt that did not belong to either of the victims was found around Barry's neck. Their murder happened in December 2017, and there has been very little information released about this case since. Edit, a percent. Chemicals in frogs are turning the water gay. That the bird barks challenge was totally made and pushed by Netflix to promote their movie, and their posts saying not to do it are just PR stunts to save face. Darth Jar Jar was 100% planned and hinted at in TPM, but the sheer amount of hatred for the character made Lucas back down. I actually wish he went through with the original vision. Michael Jackson was chemically castrated by his father to preserve his soprano singing voice, which was the source for his infatuation with children. Ike makes every part of their process frustrating. Not difficult, but frustrating because they're hoping that one of the five fights you and your partner get into is the one that causes you to break up. Their stores are labyrinths, you're going to get lost. You can't pronounce any of the product names without making a dumb voice. Even though you measured everything beforehand, 
you still can't fit that shit in your car like you thought you could, and now your wife is riding home with her knees in the fucking dashboard, because her seat needs to be all the way up. That's three fights, before you start assembling. And now all of the pieces look exactly the same. You can't tell the difference between board I and board D, but you'll catch your fuck up right before you finish, and you'll have to go back to step 3, so your bookcase isn't wobbly. Why is it so hard? Why don't you do it yourself Michelle? Why don't you do everything yourself? Point 6 months later, you're divorced. She took everything. You're trying to furnish a studio apartment on $80. There's only one place you can do that. You're going right back, and you're getting the meatballs this time too. Ike doesn't make furniture. They make bachelors. The Federal Reserve is behind presidential assassinations. The Federal Reserve is arguably the most powerful entity in the world. Henry Ford famously said, if the US populace understood our financial system and the Federal Reserve, there would be a revolution tomorrow. Our government knew the attack on Pearl Harbor was going to happen, and decided to let it happen. Edit, USA, USA, USA. See, this theory has just enough truth to sound plausible, but doesn't hold up to scrutiny. Yes, the US knew an attack was coming. The Pacific Fleet was on high alert at the time. Problem is, they didn't know it would be at Pearl. Hawaii was thousands of miles behind US lines. Everyone was thinking the attack would be at the Philippines, or Guam. The Wacko Raid was a failed PR stunt intended to rebuild the reputation of the ATF after Jeff and all of the Gadsden Minuteman militia infiltrated the event and took clandestine video of ATF agents, setting up RLI checkpoints, selling hunting tags for blacks, selling t-shirts with Martin Luther King Jr's face and snipe the crosshairs, OJ Simpson's head in a noose, and black men sprawled across police cruisers with the phrase boys on the hood, partaking in illegal drugs, note this is, when militias became the 90s bojeman. Our smart devices are always listening slash data being stored slash sold, not just search history slash social media use. A couple months ago, my sister came over to give me a birthday present. I had never heard of the item before, so I had never searched for it slash talked about it online. I had a cell phone in my pocket and an Alexa in the room. We talked about the item in that room. Later that evening an hour or two later, targeted ads for that exact item were showing up all over my social media feeds. The Vanilla Hypothesis We are all drawn to the taste of vanilla, because most of plain baby formula we were fed has an ephemeral vanilla flavoring. This is going to get buried, but smartphone batteries, remember when phones used to have removable batteries and now almost none of them do, a law enforcement agency could make you think that your phone is powered off when in reality it's just displaying a black screen, that way they could still track you, listen to your conversations and take pictures, you would never know for sure. Lyme disease as we know it today, was created by scientists on Plum Island, off the Long Island coast, in a secret government laboratory devoted to germ warfare. And the government continues to cover up, deny, and avoiding confronting how widespread it is. While the disease has been around a long time, many people believe the reason it is so widespread as it is, is because of these experiments. www.limedicis.org link www.menshelf.com link sites.newports.edu link edit repeated phrase clarification peter is run by leaders of the meat industry and they purposely make the organization seem crazy in order to take away credibility from the vegan and anti-meat eating movements there is no way peter is actually so insensitive it would mock steve iwin Heathrow Airport didn't have any drones flying around, something big was about to go down, and they needed a reason to shut down the airport without causing mass hysteria, edit, Gatwick, my mistake. That flight 93 was shot down by an F-16 in the story about the crew struggling to regain control, was manufactured for propaganda purposes. It's very believable to me that the military would shoot down a hijacked plane they had every reason to believe was headed for Washington DC, especially since it was after the WTC crashes, and them being fully aware they were dealing with a coordinated terrorist attack. Also, the wreckage is fucked, it doesn't look like it crashed, it looks like it was obliterated. Edit, spelling. 
ExxonMobil and others in the oil and gas industry are paying politicians and creating propaganda to make the public doubt global warming. The politicians know their views are crap, but they lie nevertheless from greed, because they're gonna die before the worst part hits anyway. The conspiracy that the global economic system has been adjusted by oligarchs over the centuries is such that the top 1% own 50% of all the net wealth in the world. Endpoint Wikipedia point org link, really not sure why conspiracy theorists spend all their time stressing over celebrity gossip and drama when we are literally living in an economic conspiracy so blindingly obvious that we should be on the streets with fucking pitchforks. Aliens haven't developed the tech to travel faster than light, so they created memes to hold humanity's progression until they arrive and take over. I don't know how the details would work, but it doesn't seem that far-fetched to me that grocery corporations would pay meteorologists slash weather reporters to exaggerate the weather in order to sell groceries. Grocery stores make a killing, and big weather gets 10% off the top. Maybe everybody wins. Big weather. Shane Dawson's accuser is a paid PR pieces. He gets paid to make people look as good as possible. They're all fake heavily edited puff pieces that the subjects pay him for. It's a win-win for everyone involved. Shane gets the views and the subjects get good PR. It'd actually shock me more if it wasn't true. That the CIA study DSP and stuff. www.cia.gov link. Like and subscribe for good luck, you handsome gentlemen.